What's up, YouTube? It's Silty with Techaholics. Back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all 15 different movie apps that y'all can use either on your Android or your Android TV or your Fire Stick. Whatever you want to use it on that's Android based, I got you. So let's get it in. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through the apps and I'm going to show y'all, you know, different apps and then I'll show y'all the ones that I actually like towards the end. So these are going to be my favorite apps, uh, the ones that I would actually choose all the, over all these apps. So there's only two of them. But let me go ahead and let me show y'all uh, the different applications. Some of them are going to be similar. Uh, I think that what the people did is that they probably took the idea from the main app and they just called it their own. But just in case if that app's acting up, maybe these will work as like a secondary app or whatever the case may be. So let me go ahead and let me show y'all. So let's go to newest movies. That's the first one. All right, so on this one, uh, see new updated right here on the top. So you have your different uh, updated ones. So these are like the ones that they just uploaded onto the application. So you have your movies uh, right here. So if you click on it, just go to your videos. For some reason it says episodes on this one, but pretty much the same thing. All right, so let's go to the next one. We've got a one box HD. This one's similar to the uh, Megabox HD, and you'll see that in a second. So pretty much same thing, just your movies. You have your TV shows over here. Oops, sorry. So if you want to select the TV show, you just go in here, go to videos. What's cool about this app is since that is similar to Megabox, you can actually use a custom player. I'm not going to do it, but this is like a substitute for... Um, Showbox since that they actually took it down and you could probably use it the same way as uh, Terrarium too So we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of that Go ahead and do Megabox since that the apps kind of similar to Megabox you have the idea of how it works All right Go to the next one HD movies 2018 Let's play this one is like loaded with ads, so I kind of would make this like my least favorite one. And as you see, it's not going sideways, but it actually has a little bit of cool features about it. Um, so you can watch newer movies, which that would be one of the coolest features. And then it gives you like different ones that are kind of similar to it. You might also like. So I'm sorry for this video being sideways. I actually cannot change it i've tried to maybe i could do it with like another app that would actually put it sideways which i've done that before but right now i kind of forgot to do that as i'm doing the video but anyways i'll get the idea of that one so let's go ahead and let's back out of it uh let's go to btv this one's kind of similar to uh mega box but as you can tell it has different setup so you do trending you have different selections so as this one would be just like the other one you just select the movie just go on to it. it has a pretty cool nice little setup the way that it looks just watch video you'll see the different ones popping up I'm pretty sure that you can use it yeah play external player All right so this would be the same type of app that you could be able to use like the other ones all right, Cartoon HD, that one's actually really, uh, that one's really popular. It's actually been around for quite a while. So this one works pretty good. It's similar to how Megabox is also. So like I said, in case if Megabox isn't working, Cartoon HD isn't working, then you can be able to use the other ones that are similar to it. Let's see if we can be able to get it to load up. I know that just recently they shut off Showbox and um, a lot of y'all are looking for different movie apps to actually be able to use that's similar to Showbox or might be better, whatever the case may be. So this one's actually not 
wanting to load for me right now. Like I said, it's a very, very old application. Maybe it's been updated, you know, different things like that. If it doesn't load, then we'll come back around to it. Let's see if it'll load for me again. All right, so Kodo Movies. This was actually Bobby Movies or something like that before. It's, it's ranked as a good movie app. I actually have not used this one. I've actually been using the other apps I will show y'all towards the end that actually rank as like my favorite ones. And I will suggest those to y'all, but these are just in case if you want to check them out. So has a pretty cool setup, just like the last one. You just go to the movie, the quality. Uh, the only thing that's bad about this one is that you have to wait until the quality pops up. All the other ones, normally, it comes with the quality already there. So it might take a little bit for that to load up, depending on your internet connection. All right. So our crown. See, pretty much the same thing uh, as all the other ones. Like I said, I just really think these people took the idea from these these other applications and just kind of made it their own you know put their own little theme and stuff like that and try to call it their own but like I said it's just backups for if these other ones don't work so you can go ahead and you can check that one out see if you go to the movies you go to videos pop up pretty much the same way all right so Kiko time this one's actually really cool this one's a Cody um, like if you didn't want to use Cody, you could be able to use it as a substitute for Cody. So go over here. See, so you got your TV shows, you got your movies, you got your file manager, images, and then your add-on store. If you want to go on there, you can be able to select from different add-ons, your prime wire, uh, different ones that are actually popular that actually are used from Cody. You can actually use it. So another thing that's cool too is that if you wanted to, you can add. Um, live channels but you would have to use the m3u playlist which if you're familiar with that you can actually add it right here and you know watch the live tv but bad thing about these m3u playlist is that it only works for one day then you have to update it and then it works for one day and then you have to update it but that's just a cool feature just in case if you don't know how to use cody or if you don't want to you can actually use this as a substitute for that so let me go ahead and let me go to the next one, Media Box. This one's pretty cool. Uh, it has different features, things like that. Uh, if you're into like, you know, I I think that this one's the one that that has um, anime on it. So if you're like big into anime, it has quite a bit of that on here. And as you can tell, the setup's really nice. Grinch. This one's the new one that just came out. So it'll tell you about the movie. You be able to download it right here. You can be able to play it. Whatever the case may be. So we'll just click the play button. And it'll show you different links that'll pop up. The autoplay is actually a really good feature. Um, I actually didn't know that this had that. And it was what's cool about the autoplay feature, which that's that's awesome that I've seen that now. So we go to like Rick and Morty if you wanted to like binge watch your favorite season all you have to do is click play and you click autoplay and what it'll do is it'll actually play the next episode kind of like how netflix works so this is a substitute to your netflix if you don't want to pay for netflix anymore you can go ahead and you can do that but uh we'll get more into that a little bit later but i'm glad that i actually found that so i could be able to look into it more because actually one of the applications i was going to show you has that feature on there and it's actually one of my favorite applications as of right now so i'll just go ahead and say that this is probably like my third favorite application now that i found this you know because it has a really really cool setup as you can tell it's going to start moving in the background and whatnot so that's really nice all right so let's go ahead and let's go to the next one morph tv uh, this is kind of like how Cody is. So you just go into your movies, what's trending. Uh, look at the setup. The setup's really nice. So you just click on it. And then it'll generate your links for you. You can be able to stream it to your Chromecast. You would do different things with this one. Uh, maybe there's an issue why I can't find the link. Maybe it's because I clicked the back button. Let's see if it'll find links. 
it's a really cool setup. I like that. So it'll look really nice like on an Android TV box or, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it finds links. It'll look really nice on your Chromecast uh, or, um, I'm sorry, on your Fire TV. So that would be really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go into TV Zion. All right. So this one needs to be updated and let's see if I can be able to get it to pull up without having to update it. I don't think that I can actually pull it up without it updating. I should have done that, but it actually didn't need to be updated whenever I actually was going to do this video. There, yeah, it's not going to do it. So let's see. Let's update it real quick. Should go really quick. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's almost done installing. After it installs, and I'll show y'all it. Oh, oh, maybe it didn't install because of this. So, yeah. Anyways, it's is it okay application? It's not really. Uh, not really that big of a, you know, cool application. Let me see if it'll boot up now. No. Okay. Yeah, so just forget it. All right. So next one is Mega Show. This one's kind of similar to the other ones. It just shows you um, shows you different things like, um, like all the other ones. You know, TV shows. You got your movies. I don't know if this one has like the newer movies on it or not, but it does have some selections. So, yeah, I don't think that it that this one has like some of the newer movies. Maybe it's the TV shows more than anything. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't really ran through these yet. Um, I'm actually going through it for the first time with you guys. So it's really cool to see that they have 15 different ones that have different things that they actually do. Uh, some of them are similar, like I said, but other than that, I mean, they all work differently. All right, so I think that's it. Yep. All right, so let me go ahead and let me show you all my two favorite ones that I would suggest to anybody. And anybody that has asked me, um, like friends, family, people like that. Yeah, any any time that they've asked me, like I'll show them the, my favorite ones. So, oh, there there it goes. Look, I wanted to show up. Anyways, as you can tell, this one's kind of like the other one. That's kind of random that it opened up. But anyways, uh, let me go ahead and let me show y'all. Okay, so my two favorite ones is Cinema HD and TTV. So let me go ahead and show y'all TTV real quick. And the reason why I actually like this one. It's asking me for an update too. All these updates. So let's go right here. Go ahead and install. I know this one won't have a problem installing. I've never had a problem with this app. So this one's almost done. Then whenever it gets done, then I'll show y'all it. right so the reason why I like this app so much is because it has different features kind of like how um, Cody is this one's another substitute for Cody because what's cool about it is obviously you know you get your movies whatever movie that you want to watch I like the setup also that's on it it looks really nice so this will probably be like my second favorite one so you just go right here you just click on it and it'll load the Gotta load the different things to see how fast that was. All right, so then you got that. And then you got your TV shows. Oh, it should be your TV shows. Oh, right, right here, it's your TV shows. All right, and another cool thing about this is that you actually get a selection for live TV. So if you wanted to, you can actually update this. And whenever you do that, it'll give you an update of different channels. So like U.S. channels, which this is where I'm at, obviously, or in the USA. Um, yeah, this ain't turning for me either for some reason. Yeah. All right, so 
I'll just select one and see if it works. Sometimes it might, sometimes it might not. It just all depends on how this is working. But still, you know, you still get the still get the option to do it. Then if you want to, you can actually add your own playlist. So in case if it's not working, you can be able to do that. So let's go to USA. All right, yeah. So these streams are probably just, you know, just acting up. So let's go ahead and let's try something down here. Yeah, all right, well. You know, as it works whenever it wants to work, and then sometimes it doesn't want to work. So I mean, but I mean, but it's still cool, um, cool thing to think about. You know, using because you can still use it for live TV and different things like that. So it's still um, like Cody, but it's a more simpler app. All right, so my top favorite one would have to be Cinema HD. This one is an amazing app all around and i just love it so i'm not going to update it because clearly the updates are rolling through this this year these applications or maybe it not it might not work without updating it so sorry we're probably oh nope there it goes okay so what's cool is that in the corner it actually show you what's tv shows and what's movies see the movies that actually don't have the tv little icon so you click on the movie it has a nice little setup right here and then I'll show you the different links to the movie and then I'll show you trailers if the movie isn't available at the time but my main focus and the main thing that I was talking about about this app is whoops, sorry about that is actually the best feature of it so if you click on a season you be able to select which ones that you want to watch next or you can simply just go on to it and you can cl click autoplay and what that'll do is it'll automatically uh, select the best links and it'll play those and then as soon as the the season is over or the video is over if we're gonna skip through it yeah, I'm sorry if I'm y'all to see this real quick so it's almost done and it's almost over with so we're just going to watch it for a little bit just so y'all can be able to see it and then as soon as it's done it'll shut off like that and it'll go to the next episode by finding the best links again 10 best links there you go Previously. so that's what i like about that one so it's a uh, alternative to netflix and it it the, the only bad part is is that it goes through those links like that but it, you know, and then it has that little pause, but it's that or watch commercials, you know, so which one you, you pay money for Netflix and you watch a commercial or you play for Hulu and you watch a commercial or you just get a little pause there. It's fine. So anyways, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.